Okay, hello everyone. Here is our final presentation of outliers via Team 9. And uh, our project name is Decentralized Bank Project. We focused in on the AAVE AV company. Okay, firstly, um, is a business pitch. And uh, firstly, introduce our team via Team 9 outliers. And our team contains Wang Kenan, C, the CEO, the CIO, Guo Yuming, HR, Cheng Chuyuan, CFO, Ji Anqi, and the marketing director, Tia. Okay. And here is the business model canvas of the AVE company. And he, this is the update, updated one that was edited by the informing strategies and the limits we analyze of the AVE company. Here are one, two, three, four, five parts that were adjusted and you can have a look. And here are the detailed information about the business model. About the key activities, customer relationships, the revenue streams, and the revenue stream contains two parts, fees for users. And uh, our, we, our, one of our features is that our fee, load fee is very low. Yeah, you can see from this. And the market size is very, big and uh, increases very quickly. Okay, and here is the value proposition part. And this is the operation process of the A website in the mobile phone. Yeah. Okay, let's move to the next part. And next part is the analysis of the whole project. First is the pros, pros and cons part. And about the pros and cons, we have hold a debate of this part and we get this conclusions. The pros, we have cryptocurrencies, arbitrage, fluctuations, collateral, and the sacrifice. And about the cons, we have this five problems, the smart contracts, the token agreement, the trust crisis and the liquidation issues and the security problems. And to solve these five problems and disadvantages, we made this informing strategies to solve this problem, like improve a pool to solve the token grip and issues and something like provide a more concise system environment and develop instruction for beginners to solve the smart contracts issues. Okay, this is the uh, analysis. And next, next is the uh, exclusive plan. First is the uh, timeline of our exclusive plan. And uh, we divided it into five phases. One phase contains two months. Okay, first, uh, we need we want to do the round finance a round finance and then the risk prevention system and then the understandable smart contracts system and then build a mutual a protocol and then we want to um, increase the tokens locked in our market here is the OKRs, the uh, um, detailed goals and uh, key results we want to achieve in this five phases. Okay, cool. Good. Then we do a, a cooperation with the uh, Team Five Pentago, and uh, we made an agreement in the DeFi cooperation. And they will learn from our experiences on security issues and optimize bankers system. And uh, we will support them, support their fund pool equity as collateral assets in addition to earning interest by putting encrypted assets in their pools. Liquidity providers can also mortgage them to obtain liquidity in a, okay. 
Next is uh, part two, the team steering. And first is a uh, teammate's self intro, self intro, uh, introduction. Okay, I'll first introduce myself. I'm Wang Kunan, the CEO, and my motto is "Stay hungry, stay foolish," which was said by Stephen Jobs. And uh, I, I'm a Chinese. And I started in ECNU, and I'm an undergraduate in BBA major. And I can speak Chinese, English, and a little bit French. And I'm good at Python, Microsoft, and uh, also, I'm also enjoy debating and logical thinking. And uh, here is my link down page and my contact info. Okay. Next, we will welcome Anqi to introduce herself. Hi, everyone. My name is Anqi, and I'm the CFO of this group. Um, my motto is be the one who always have internal fire in the eye. And I am Chinese, uh, and I study in ECNU now. Uh, you can see my linking page and contact info. And I'm good at Chinese and English. and uh, I'm a French beginner, and I'm interested in running, swimming, photographing, playing logical games, and uh, I can use Word, PPT, Python, and I'm a Excel beginner. Thank you. Okay, let's welcome Yumi to introduce herself. Hi everyone, I'm the CIO of this group. I'm Guo Yumi, and my motto is laziness contains permanent disappointment. I'm a Chinese student who is state studying in ECNU. I can speak Chinese and English, and I'm a beginner in French. I can do a lot of paperwork. I'm good at looking for information to sort out. I have a great talent for listening to others. I think it might be help my work in the future. And I'm very good at solving, very good at solving obstacles. And I won't let my personal problems affect others. I hope that in the future I can summon up a courage and to try to be a leader. Tend to be timidity and the listeners are the problems I have determined to overcome. If you want to contact me, uh, this is my LinkedIn page and uh, my email address. Okay, next let's welcome Kate to introduce herself. Um, hello everyone, my name is Chen Chuyuan Kate and I'm HR English group. Uh, my motto is that true mastery of any skill takes a lifetime. My cultural and educational background is that I was born in Taiwan, but I have to move for uh, to Shanghai for about 12 years. I'm now a freshman in business administration at East China Normal University in Shanghai. About talents and ab ambitions, I have two talents, swimming and uh, Playing piano are what I'm really good at. My ambition are that I hope that I can apply what I learned in classes to a future one day. And being a leader in a company and gaining some achievements are my wishes as well. Language and tech skills. I both good at the Chinese and the English. And, and I just can only speak some daily expression in French now. For a tech skills, I have good command of words, PowerPoint, Photoshop, Flash, Audition, and Premiere. I master the basic Python programming as well. The final one is linking page and contact info, as you can see them at the screen. So I finished my self-introduction section. Thank you. Okay, let's welcome Tia. Hi, my name is Tia, and the motto I chose is, we may encounter many defeats, but we must not be defeated by Maya Angelou. <clears throat> I am a South African-born woman, descendant of Congolese and Portuguese family. Although I was born in South Africa, my culture is mainly constituted of Congolese traditions and customs. However, I've had the opportunity to learn about my Portuguese origins. Um, from kindergarten to senior year, I attended the French International School of Johannesburg. During my school years, I joined many clubs and was in many activities. In these clubs and activities, I 
um, gained many skills, but the skills that I thought were most valuable are critical thinking, emotional intelligence, social intelligence, introspection, and public speaking. Um, with my skills in the future, I aim to use them to my advantage to acquire more skills and aid in the future. I want to walk, I want to be able to walk alongside people that will change the world for the better. I have always been passionate about racial and social injustices. I do not want to live in a world where everyone does not have the same opportunities because of their gender, ethnicity, or other. I want to be able to provide and grant us all with equal opportunities. Um, as for my languages, I speak English, French, um, I am an intermediate in uh, Sp Spanish, and um, beginner in Chinese. I can navigate easily through um, PowerPoint, Excel, and Word. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Okay, the next part is about the team story to convince the investors that how we um, uh, overcoming obstacles and resolving conflicts in this spring. And for the first part, we will welcome Sally to talk about this one. Um, hi everyone, this is Sally. In the initial survey of a company, this is very difficult for us to search relevant materials and it's very difficult for us to filter online information and most of the search results are not what we want. It was very frustrating for a time, but we soon got back on our feet. The team leader provide us with some ideas. We can search on knowledge apps such as Zhihu in China. At the same time, we can change our search engine to use Bing instead of Baidu. In this way, our thinking becomes more open. So we collected a lot of useful information. This time, uh, the obstacles uh, told us a lot. What when we collide uh, with each other's ideas, we will broaden our horizons. A person's thinking is limited. It's hard for us to jump out of our own thinking uh, unless someone help, uh, helps us. The benefits of cooperation is reflected here. The exchange of view enable us to see the world in a new light. In addition, in the process of overcoming different difficulties, we are more firmly united united as long as we are together we can come we are confident to overcome any difficulties okay thanks sally and then let's welcome kate to introduce the resolving complex part um hello i'm kate again so now my work is to share one story i wrote how you have resolved conflicts together uh, collaboratively. Though we are such a harmonious team, there are some, still some conflicts in the group. Making an example of task assignment. Once our group leader divide the group assignment into parts to distribute them, but some of group members consider that the distribution was improper. Different workflow make the members hard to pick up one task for themselves and they saw that it's unfair to the member with greater workload which lead to conflict. Uh, the so solution we deal with it was discussing again this issue in WeChat group and informing our group leader of our own thought by being given the suggestion to the calculation. The leader reassigned the task according to our advices and asked others and member, members' permissions. The key to settling the conflict is coming down to reconsider our issue together to search for the best method to solve them, contributing to an excellent job to our group success in the end. We are all quite looking forward to uh, working with us again in the future. Thank you. That's all I want to share. Okay, that's all. Thank you for the final presentation. Let's start.